Hey there, everybody. How y'all doing? Thank y'all for coming back. As always, I appreciate it. Hope y'all had a wonderful day or having a wonderful night. And I'm talking to you. Mm -hmm. All right. Shirt stickers for sale down there. Hit me up. Follow me up on uh, Instagram and Facebook. I really appreciate that. Today, I'm bringing to you another review of this guy. All right. Bumblebee Studio Series number 18. This is his uh, movie deco. Oh yeah, new transformer. There you go. From the side, from the back. You want to read all that? Phrase frame it. Some more stuff. It's on the back there. I'm gonna get that. Uh, I already did the uh, Shadow Warrior. I'm gonna get that ratchet. I like that darker the moon uh, deco. So I'm gonna pick him up if I see him again. So let's open this little fella up. See what we're working with. How about that? All right. Mmm. 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 Love neutron sunburns. All right. We got instructions, folks. Can't live without them. Okay, cool. For the movie, got the garage scene or whatever from that. That's pretty nifty. And here he is. Kind of small. All right, let me open him up. All right, I'm back. Here he is. There's from the front. The side. Ooh, look at that big old backpack. Hmm. On the side. Did you ever know that you're my hero? Got everything in wind beneath his wings and stuff, man. There you go. All right, he comes with a couple accessories, which is pretty neato. Comes with a little a battle mask. That is cool. It's got a little nice blue paint on there. So that's pretty nifty. Comes with the saw blade, and that's painted silver. It's got some silver paint on there. That is really nice. That's cool, and he comes with a little Signature Blaster. It's got some silver paint on there and it's got some black paint on there. So nice. Showed a little, a little love. <clears throat> so yeah, let me mess around with this little fella and uh, I'll come back and I'll uh, tell you what I think of him. Alright, back from transformation. One thing, that was not a fun transformation. This is a small little transformer, but you have to line up all these panels right here and the back and on the bottom. You know, and all the doors have to, you know, stick into there, that little side of the leg and everything. So you have to line up everything. And um, I got most of it good. There's a little, you know, opening right here and up here. But if you start moving, you know, things, everything starts falling apart. I just got frustrated. So this is the best I can get it. Now, other, other than that, the car mode looks really cool. I like the V dub. You know, it's got the little symbol right here. And it's got it on the uh, wheels, too. They're painted silver. No, that's just plastic. Sorry. Uh, not a lot of not a lot of paint on here. You got some red up here, a little orange, just red. Um, the uh, tail or the headlights are painted, and the tail lights are painted. You can see through everything. You know that's not. I, don't, I wish it would have been tinted black, but that's fine. Um, really cool is you can uh, attach all the weapons and the battle battle mask. Battle mask goes right here, and the little sword right here, and then the gun right in the middle. That's pretty cool. I, I really that's really neat. I like that. Does uh, roll really good, and you know, other than the transformation, it's a nice little beetle. I like that. Yeah, you know, really cool. There's that. Front, other side, and the back. We got a V dub back there. No, would have been cool if they had a license plate that said B or something. That would have been neat. But you can see the the head under there and everything. So, yeah. You know. But there you go. There it is next to Crapagonics. There he is next to a small remote. And there he is next to a shark tooth uh, in some sand, and it's from Florida. All right, back from transformation. And here you go. Nice little head sculpt. Got some silver on his face, and he's got blue eyes. Really nice painting. He's got a little Autobot symbol on, the, on his forehead. Looks really good. You can go down. You can look up a little bit, side to side, to top ball joint. 
and you can do the ooh kind of look really good and go all the way up to here with that arm and you can get some more dynamic pros out there because of the transformation uh got an elbow swivel which is good nice elbow bend 90 degrees more you need hand goes in and out because of the transformation and that's about it he does have a waist swivel that's neato always like seeing that you can do the van damme that's good go all the way up more you need uh can't go all the way back because of the backpack back here kind of gets in his way he does have a thigh swivel a little bit 90 degree bend these things get in the way i wish they were uh, i wish they would have collapsed maybe the the wheel down into there or something and did something with this maybe collapse this that would have been a lot better instead of having his uh, big old calves um he does have a uh, no knee swivel yeah silver paint right here in the middle or an inner thigh sorry and then silver right here too <clears throat> and on the boot so the boot he can go up he can go down and he's got a little rocker too so that's awesome articulation is really good on this now here's the bad part he's got a lot of stuff in the back he's got you know all the car part and you know on the back and everything the hood the roof and everything so if you don't like backpacks you probably won't like this don't bother me it looks you know i think this they were going with this um first you know this in the movie i thought they i think they was going with this look at first but they took off the uh the door thing so you don't see that in the uh um, trailers anymore so it's pretty cool but there you go so he does have a like i said the battle mask he can take this let me get that face off and you will see something weird Ooh, i see you i see you so yeah let me take that off and then Put on his battle mask, if I can get it on there. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. I like that battle mask, really nice and big blue eyes. And you can put his uh, sword on. You just attach it on his, on the side. Really nice. Not sword, but yeah, I guess a sword, chainsaw, whatever. And then you can take this off, plug it right there, and you can put on his little blaster, which is cool. If I can get it on there. All right, well, I'm back. Well, this sucks. Um, my arm cannon will not stay on there. I mean, it'll stay up like that, but once you bend, it just comes right out. That's some unfortunate. Man. See if I can get this other hand back in. Come on, man. All right. Well, well unfortunately, I don't know. I may have to take this back and uh, exchange it or something. I don't know. That, that really sucks. But anyways, there he is with his uh, chainsaw, whatever you want, a blade or something, and his battle mask. I think so. There you go. And there he is with some other bumblebees. And there he is with some other studio series. Jazz Optimus Stinger and uh, Shadow Raider. Alright, there he is with some Iron Factory Legends, Hasbro Legends, and some Deluxes, and a Beast Wars figure. And you got World's Smallest uh, Blaster down there. Next to Crapagonics. Next to a little remote. And next to some sand and a shark tooth from Florida. And next to Squeaks. Aww. Alright, final thoughts on this guy. He's fine. I mean, there's a lot of issues with mine. I, it may not be with everybody's, uh, but that arm thing with the cannon, that's unfortunate. I wish it can go on, but uh, I don't know. I may mess around with it a little more. I don't know, but as of now, it won't go on there that well. Uh, the alt mode is really cool. I love the VW bug. It's really nice. It'll throw back to G1. Transformation is it's, it's frustrating to get all the uh, panels lined up. It, it takes a little while, so it's not really a fun transformation. Robot mode, I like it. I like the sculpt. I like uh, the um, you know engineering is pretty cool. I didn't feel like anything was going to break. Um, I don't like the big cast back there. I wish they would do something with that. You know, maybe move the wheel down and done, you know maybe push them up or something, lay them flat or something. That would have been a lot better. He does have a backpack. That doesn't bother me that much. Um, I love the accessories. I love the battle mask. I love those little swords. Pretty good. Uh, the paint, you know, it's not a lot. I uh, wish they would have done more, but you know, it does break up the sculpt a little bit, you know, with the silver and everything. So 
I uh, wish he had an a Autobot symbol or something. I could always put an Autobot symbol somewhere, you know, but that's not that's nothing that too bad. But articulation is really good for a little bot. You know, he is small for 20 bucks. I don't know, he's the size of a legend, you know, kind of. But, um, yeah, so he's all right. I like him. I'm, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not hateful of the purchase. Uh, there are just some issues with it. And that's it. So, well, I'm going to get on the floor, do some floor time. Why don't you join me and be my neighbor? All right, all right, all right. All right. I don't have much for a floor time for him. I don't know really what I could do. I could, I guess I could, he could wrestle the chicken. Ah, wrestle me, chicken man, chicken man. Zoom, zoom. Oh no, oh my, you got my sword. Uh, so what y'all think of the studio series so far? I think they've done pretty good. The deluxes have gotten better. Uh, the, I love the Voyagers and later class. So, good job. Um, this one's not bad. It does have some issues and uh, that arm can thing really. All right, well, tell me what you think of my review. I hope you liked it. Go down there and hit me with some comments, some likes, shares, prayers, and care bears. And, um, yeah, I, I, I think he's worth the pickup. I really do. 20 bucks is not bad. You know, he is a little small, but, you know, he is Bumblebee, so that's he. I want him to be small. So just need more paint and some other issues. But, anyway, I'm rambling again. I guess I'll see you in the next review, as always. Hell, Hasbro. And good night, folks. Yeah. Dare, dare to believe you can survive. Alright.